Hi, this is Marcus Giuliano from HealthyChefDude.com. And in today's news, January 21st, uh, 2010, uh, in Bangladesh, Parliament just passed a bill prohibiting the use of antibiotics, growth hormones, and steroids, and harmful pesticides in animal and fish feeds, which is extremely important. Um, I'm going to talk today about shrimp. Because uh, most of the shrimp on the market right now are being are farm shrimp. There is uh, some wild shrimp out on the market. So a lot of people think, well, I only eat wild shrimp because that's better because there's no hormones, antibiotics, and things like that. Because f uh, farm shrimp has gotten a bad, bad rap, especially in Asia. Now we're talking about Bangladesh, which is over in Asia. So Bangladesh is taking a very proactive step here and saying, you know, we don't want this crap, this junk in our fish feed and our animal food. We're going to make a national law and pass this so it's not in there so they don't have an option. So any kind of shrimp you see coming from Bangladesh, hopefully after this law takes effect, will have none of that extra crap in it. But if you go out to eat at a restaurant, you know, it's hard because shrimp is on every menu, I think, whether it's Italian, whether it's Thai, um, shrimp is on people's menu. People can relate to shrimp, especially shrimp cocktail. If you go to an American restaurant, it's shrimp cocktail, continental restaurant, it's shrimp cocktail. But here's the misconception. If you're eating wild shrimp, you think you're doing a better job than eating farm shrimp. There are equally just as devastating effects on farm shrimp as on there on wild shrimp. Here's, here's what happens. Farm shrimp is very polluting to the environment because they pack farm shrimp in pens and in, in bays, mangroves, and they really condense the shrimp. They feed it all kinds of hormones, antibiotics, and they're making food for, for the shrimp. So what happens is the fish living in these close confines, they need antibiotics to keep them well. And they need growth hormones, so they grow bigger, so they get a quicker, a bigger shrimp to farmers. But where they're farming them is now getting polluted. So you have this pollution on top of everything else. And then when they pack the shrimp, they pack it with phosphates and other chemicals to make it plumper, um, maybe adjust the texture, or add a little kind of salt solution to adjust the flavor and make it ship and freeze better. So that's why farm shrimp has gotten a bad rap. But now people say, oh, I only eat wild shrimp. Oh, you know, I only eat gulf shrimp. Or gulf shrimp, they may not have the pollution that's associated with or the toxins that are associated, but here's the bad news on wild shrimp. Wild shrimp, there's something called bycatch. Bycatch means, okay, you're going out to catch the shrimp, but what else are you catching in the nets? We all see on cans of tuna now, um, turtle safe nets means you're not, they're trying not to catch turtles in the nets. Well, that happens in shrimp. Now most shrimp, commercially shrimp, comes from large shrimp producers, large shrimp harvesters. What you see in Forrest Gump is not the case in most shrimp that you buy. Forrest Gump had a great picture. They scooped up the shrimp, put it on, and it was all shrimp on the boat. That's not the case. They go in with big ships, they do something called trawling, where they take nets, drop it with a rake on the bottom, and rake the bottom of the ocean floor, destroying all the valuable habitat, the coral that's taken hundreds of years to grow, they take all that and basically tumble the bottom of the ocean floor as this as this trawl's going. Everything's tumbling through as it's dragging on the floor, getting the shrimp as well as all the other bycatch things they, they can't use or they don't want to use. The stat statistics are as high as seven to fifteen pounds of unwanted shrimp per one pound of shrimp caught. So they're catching seven to fifteen pounds of other species for one pound of shrimp, which is extremely detrimental to the environment and to, of course, scraping all the coral and all the life out. So it's really not a better option. Wild shrimp is not the best option. My personal opinion, if you can buy shrimp that is organically farmed, that's gonna be the best, most responsible way to eat shrimp. Now, Bangladesh is making a step towards the organic or more natural direction. Other countries are out there have done, have made similar things. Vietnam's another country that, that really has monitored their aquaculture because after the disaster came into Asia and everything happened to the shrimp, they really, some of these countries tried to make steps. Now a country like Ecuador is very progressive and from the very beginning they've set certain regulations not to allow for this thing to happen. There's a couple farms in America and there's one large farm that, that, that's sold in, in major um, um, warehouse uh, stores like Costco, or I believe it's in Costco. Um, where they actually have this great organically USDA certified organic shrimp where they actually raise their own grains to feed the tilapia, to take tilapia to make food meal to feed the shrimp. So it's a whole like enclosed environment system where they're using everything and doing everything themselves. So if you can get a sustainably farmed shrimp, in my opinion, it's much better than buying a shrimp 
coming from Asia or from another part of a farm that's not doing the proper thing. It's definitely better than buying wild. So what do you do when you go out to a restaurant? Because restaurants don't really specialize in organically farmed shrimp. It's tough. You know, I just wouldn't eat the shrimp to begin with. I would stay away from it. If you want to enjoy shrimp, buy it. Go online, go to a store, go to a health food store and buy something that you're knowing you're getting a better choice in shrimp quality. Um, so that's really the big common misconception here about shrimp. I like seafood, I love to eat seafood, but when I go out to eat, it's so hard to eat seafood because there's so much bad seafood, polluted seafood, toxic seafood on the market. You have to understand when restaurants, most restaurants and grocery stores buy, they're buying, buying based upon price. To the average chef and to the average grocery store, well, there's no difference for them if they're going to buy shrimp at $4 a pound versus shrimp at $8, $9 a pound. They're just thinking they're saving you money by being able to offer a cheaper shrimp, not understanding the environmental impacts. So when you walk into a grocery store and you see the cheaper shrimp, that's just, just it's not that they're doing anything intentionally bad to you into a restaurant, they just don't know. Chefs aren't taught this kind of stuff. As a chef, I had to investigate all this kind of stuff and read books and watch things and talk to people and talk to vendors and ask specific questions and talk to shrimp specialists or salmon specialists and find out all this. And I've been doing this for 10 years researching and I still do research every day. That's how come I can bring you great articles every day because I get emails constantly every single day and I'm on the list for all those kind of alerts. So I see what's going on and I congratulate Bangladesh on a move like that because that's great. It's really setting a standard. If America were to do something like that, I think it would be huge to get all that junk out of our animal feed and our aquaculture feed because we have such a bad rap for the way we raise our animals and for uh, our aquaculture. Now there are some instances where there's smaller farmers that are doing the right thing, but the other big guys don't have to because the government just says basically, you know, do what you want, you know, and 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 they're protecting the corporate profits versus our health. And that really makes me mad as a chef because I see all this other trying to get pushed in warehouses and salespeople trying to come in and sell me all this crap, inexpensive, cheap food. And it makes me so irate. And then when I go out to eat at other restaurants or see what other restaurants are doing, you know, they're buying the cheapest possible thing in most cases. There are some really good restaurants out there and I've tried to note those on my website. And if you know another good restaurant's doing the right thing, email me, I'll put them on the list because we want to support the people that are doing the right thing. And really that's what it's about, educating, doing the right thing and taking our dollar and putting it in the right place. So today's lesson was on shrimp. Um, I'm a shrimp fan, I've always loved shrimp. Kids love shrimp, shrimp cocktail, I mean who doesn't? But you really wanna make sure you're eating responsible shrimp. Um, you are what you eat. You can find me at healthychefdude.com, you can go on to healthconsciousfood.com, read more about what I do, and uh, stay tuned uh, for more posts on this blog. Until then, thank you.